so welcome back to my channel i do have a review on a new primer that i've been eyeing and it's the hourglass vanish airbrush primer so this is what it looks like and i'm pretty sure you guys know they do have a primer already on the market um that's been around for a minute now but they have a new one for oily skin to keep you matte flawless looking airbrush all that good stuff so when i was reading the description it just sounded so good because you guys know i have been on the hunt for a good primer i haven't found one recently that i love that i'm obsessed with um because it's a certain texture that i'm going for and this one looks like it might just be that so i'm really excited um so yes with that being said if you're interested in this primer make sure you go ahead and like subscribe and let's jump right into the video Okay, you guys so let's go ahead and get into this i am super excited you guys like i've been waiting for this to come in because i did order this on sephora.com because they didn't have it in stores yet but this is what it looks like so nice and luxurious okay i love how sleek it is it looks really really beautiful so this is their vanish airbrush primer and i paid about let's see because you guys know what hourglass honey they be taking your money so all right so, oh god so this was 56 dollars um it's a little bit up there for me but i will say my ken and austin primer the one that i used to love and i was obsessed with and if you guys don't know it was discontinued so i'm super sad about that but that's why i haven't found a primer that i really love um that one i believe was 56 dollars so I guess I love high-end primers, y'all. Uh, but yeah, this is $56 and all of that with tax. It probably was close to $60, just being honest. So yes, let's go ahead and read the claims about this because I want to let you guys know a little bit more about it. It's a translucent skin perfecting primer that smooths, absorbs shine, okay, and adds a visibly blurred airbrush finish while extending makeup wear. It is free of parabens. Um... I can't say that one um sulfates and then it's also vegan and cruelty free now they do have a little bit more if you want to know more about this primer it is formulated with innovative microsurfical powders it's the big words for me okay but let me keep on reading so this multi-purpose primer visibly blurs imperfections minimizes pores and fine lines and absorbs excess oil for a near instant skin perfecting finish the weightless translucent gel formula, which is very interesting, enhances the application look and wear of makeup. So you guys see what I'm talking about? When you're reading it, you're just like, ooh, that sounds good, okay? So I just put it in my cart, purchased it, and now we have this in front of me. So when it comes to my primers, you guys, I'm super picky. I do like primers that kind of feel a little bit more lotion-y just because they're a little bit thicker and because i do have oily skin i realize silicone primers a lot of the primers out there actually just do not work for my skin they give too much slip when it comes to my foundation and all of that but this one y'all i feel i feel my heart is gonna work so let's go ahead and apply a little bit and you guys see how thick this is like it is sitting on my hand and i'm moving it like this and it's not falling that shows you guys how thick it is and i love 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 primers like this so let me apply this onto the skin and see what it feels like Ooh, it just wow it feels really good <laughs> it feels so smooth yeah i like this so when you first apply it, it feels like it slips a lot but then it kind of dries down a little bit and it gives you a nice kind of matte finish on the skin it is not feeling like it dries the skin out because there's some primers out there that are mattifying but when you apply it on the skin it just kind of you know dries out everything this doesn't feel like that it feels really really good on the skin so i'm gonna go in with a little bit more and apply it on my chin and what i really like about this so far is it is not piling up a lot of the primers i have when it comes to like my serums and my moisturizers that i have underneath my um skin um yeah it just piles up when i apply my primers i don't know what it is i think like my skincare and my primers just do not work together but this one is not doing that like it literally isn't piling on the skin at all so I really appreciate that. Y'all, this really feels good on the face. I am loving this so far. So I'm gonna take some onto my forehead. 
and apply it all over and it doesn't leave a white cast either okay let's talk about that because these primers out here y'all you go ahead and apply it and it's just doing you dirty but this this i can get behind because it is looking so good on the face and what i really like about this is if you don't want to wear any makeup you can still apply this on your face and you're gonna look flawless like right now do i need foundation not really but i'm gonna do it for the wear test of course but it really does make you look flawless you guys like i can wear this by itself and i'll be totally fine so while that's drying down i'm going to color correct a little bit i'm using my charlotte tilbury tan number three color corrector to use around my mouth i already have some color corrector underneath my eyes so yeah i'm gonna apply this all over and I just love the fact, you guys, that I don't have to color correct as much anymore because my skin is just like, it's on its best behavior. If you guys haven't watched my video on how I got rid of my dark marks, then you're missing out because it really has changed my life. Like, I really don't need all of this. I'm just so used to applying it, so it's kind of hard for me to stop. But yes, a little bit goes a long way. All right, so... What we're gonna do right now is apply some foundation. You guys know I'm obsessed with my um, Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation in the shade 5N. So I'm going to apply this and I still have some other Hourglass products that I'm gonna use in today's video. So I'm gonna switch this up a little bit. I have their Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation Stick in the shade Espresso to Bronze and Contour. And then to set my under eyes, I'm using the Hourglass Veil Translucent setting powder so we're using some hourglass products today this video is not sponsored it would be nice but it's not sponsored um so yes yeah, so let me go ahead and shake this foundation up and then we're gonna apply it on the face and see how it performs all right so taking some of my foundation onto my sponge i'm just gonna blend this on the face and see how it feels and I feel like this foundation and primer are gonna go hand in hand because they both feel super buttery on the skin always. But this is just, I don't know y'all, I'm super excited because like I just, I, I just know when a product is gonna work. I've been doing makeup reviews for such a long time. So this is the type of primer that I like. I love these lotiony, thick primers because I just know that it's gonna help with my oils and all of that on my face and you guys can see what the face is looking like this is the side with the foundation it looks absolutely flawless but the gag is when you compare both sides you can't really tell i mean you can but it you guys know what i'm trying to say this has foundation obviously but this side looks just as smooth without foundation because literally this primer is making my skin look like top notch and now i'm gonna move on to the other side and blend this out and it's just it's just working y'all like my skin right now is looking really really good like let me not start cheesing you guys know how extra i get when it comes to my makeup reviews but this looks really good you guys i'm obsessed i always feel like the nose kind of lets you know how a product is gonna do because right now looking up close at my nose it looks really nice and flawless because typically my nose does not hold foundation nicely i usually have to go in with my powder to make it look flawless but so far it's just doing it's thin yeah i like this so far so this is a skin with foundation on. It looks really, really nice and flawless, you guys. So let's go ahead and bronze the skin. I'm going to use their Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation Stick in the shade Espresso. And I used this the other day, and I really liked it, you guys. I was like, hold up. Why did no one put me on? Because I've never tried their foundation stick before, just because I'm not huge on foundation stick when it comes to like my actual face but to contour and stuff i love sticks so i'm gonna apply some here the forehead some over here as well and you just need a little bit honestly 
it's gonna blend this out into the skin and i feel like with the primer of course it's just gonna work really nicely yeah like you guys saw how fast i blended into the skin like it takes no work at all so who knew like i don't know i've always i've always seen hourglass i've known about their products but i've never been big on their products and now i'm just like hold up it's just it's giving me life like it blends so easily into the skin this is like my only this is my only second time using this product so i'm still like getting shocked by it but it's so beautiful once it's blended so now for the under eyes, I'm taking my Path McGrath Concealer. And funny enough, I actually do have my Hourglass Concealer. I'm gonna go ahead and get that one. So I'm back with my Hourglass Concealer in the shade Maple. And I will say, you guys, this concealer is not my favorite, but it's not a bad concealer. I think it's more so the shade, um, just because their shades are a little bit off for me. But it wasn't a terrible concealer, but it's not my favorite. So what we're gonna do is apply a little bit because this is super full coverage, you guys. So a little bit goes a long way. All right, I'm gonna blend it out using my sponge, of course, and see. So it's been like about a year or two since I've used this, but I think it's the shade, there's something about it I'm not obsessed with. Um, and I know the shade below it was too light and the one above it was too dark. So this is all I can work with. But yeah, I think it's a shade. Because when I look at it right now, it's a little bit too light. But we'll make it work. With the concealer, it is kind of breaking up on me. A little bit so yeah I, think I, I just it's not my favorite concealer y'all it's just not but it's totally fine I'm still gonna go ahead and set it with the hourglass veil translucent setting powder um, this is a really good primer because it doesn't leave a white cast and I love this for my bridal parties especially when I do makeup just because it matches or blends into sorry every skin tone up there so I'm just gonna set the under eyes that way it doesn't crease. All right, so this is the face for now. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my face off camera, put some blush, lips, all that good stuff, and then I'll be back to show you guys, you know what the face looks like so we can start this weird test, okay? So give me a couple minutes. And I'll be right back. All right, you guys. So it's currently 2:19 right now, and this is what the face is looking like. In case you guys are wondering about this lip, it is from my brand. I will link everything down below. But yes, so yes, I'm gonna go ahead and do my test for you guys. Um, I definitely want to aim for around eight hours, which will put me around 10 o'clock. Um, but I may come back around six hours or so because I kind of just know at this point how primers work on my face. So. Yes, I am super oily, you guys. I will see what it looks like at four hours and give you guys an update on when I do check in with you guys. And then we'll see what it looks like around six to eight hours. But right now, everything is looking good. Matt, yes. So, of course, I'm going to go ahead and go on about my day because I do have a couple plans today um, and all of that good stuff. So, I will see you guys in a couple hours. All right, you guys. So, it's currently 8.54 four right now so it's about seven hours i believe a little bit over seven hours um and i just want to go ahead and do a check-in because there's no need to wait anymore this is what my face looks like you guys after a day of errands putting on my mask removing my mask things like that you guys can even see i don't really have any lines on my face um even though i've been wearing my mask all day my skin looks flawless just like it did earlier in the day when I first apply my foundation, um, there's no place in my face where I look oily or greasy. Like y'all know back in the day, I used to do like my review test and I'll come back and I looked, I look greasy. You know what I'm saying? Usually my face right now, y'all, 
it looks flawless i'm not gonna lie to you and the best part about it is i didn't even bake my face today i just went ahead and set it with the hourglass um setting powder for my under eyes and my t-zone and this powder is not a powder that really controls oil or anything like that it's just a setting powder that's translucent i usually use my Huda beauty easy bake powder in the shade kanafa because it has a lot of coverage it really keeps me matte all day but the fact that i use this powder and just set my under eyes and i didn't bake and my face looks like this is insane so yes i know the hourglass primer is 56 dollars 56 dollars i know i know i know it's a lot of money but i see why why it costs you know the price that it does it really is a great primer it doesn't give any white cast on the face it melts into the skin so easily like butter um and then on top of that when you apply your foundation and everything on top it just makes everything look super smooth and really airbrushed and the best part is a girl here is a grease ball typically but right now my face looks flawless like it literally looks like it did when i applied it at one o'clock so that says a lot you guys um i'm obsessed with this this is my favorite primer at the moment all my other primers i'm not even gonna touch anymore because this is all i need literally all i need and i just i think it's worth it so yes that's my thoughts on the hourglass vanish airbrush primer definitely go ahead and check it out or you can wait for the sephora vip sale i know they're gonna have the sale in april i believe so that's a little bit it's a little bit far away so if you can't wait go ahead and get it now but if you want to wait definitely wait for the sale so you can save a little bit of money but yes this is probably the best primer i have tried in a long time but i do hope you guys enjoyed today's video um if you did let me know your thoughts down below and if you've tried this primer let me know your thoughts on it as well but with that being said make sure you go ahead and like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one wow look my skin literally looks flawless